back everybody so we are right at the halfway point of summer and here in New England that means this beautiful babbling brook you see in about 100 days it could be a frozen tundra completely iced over so we're ramping up our preparedness uh, perfect world everything goes according to plan uh, there aren't any surprises and we're well prepared for anything mother nature can throw at us but every once in a while we're uh, sprinkled with a little blessing to make things a little more easier or some uh, a little hiccup to make things a little more challenging. That's what we're gonna talk about today's video. So normally I wouldn't take kindly to coming home from work and finding fresh litter on the property, uh, but that happened earlier this week. Uh, thankfully that litter turns into one of those blessings I hinted at in the intro. This is gonna help us out. So this blue and white checkered flagging you see on the trees, that is a result of uh, the tree company. So it's an example of our power company dollars being put to good use don't really enjoy paying for electricity the cost seems to keep going up we don't use a ton so it's not a that big a deal but our house is a half mile from the road we've got a stretch of power lines that comes in and these trees have been making me nervous for a while so I'll flip you around and show you uh, why I was so concerned all right so we've got some beautiful firewood here on the edge of the brook and on the edge of the driveway um, why I'm so nervous because this river gets really high and in a lot of cases some of the roots of some of these healthy looking trees, at least peering healthy, they start getting exposed when there's enough erosion comes through. And the ones that are leaning over our driveway, we live in a pretty rural area, so it's always not super quick for them to restore power if something were to come down, um, but they're pretty good about it, and we've got the generator anyways. But it sounds like they're gonna do the hard part for us. Um, this is a scraggly little maple that I could get to fall that way if I wanted to, um, but I don't have to. They're gonna chip the tops and leave this for us. So this blue and white flagging, I assume they use just because it's a little harder to find and, and they won't have as many homeowners uh, flagging problem trees for the crews to cut. Uh, but yeah, we call that stuff flagging. Let me know in the comments what you guys call it. Uh, I've heard it called tape, ribbon, surveyor's tape. Flagging is, is my preference. Uh, and this, this big one you see, that's almost a 24 inch oak. No way I could cut that down. Kind of curious how they're gonna do it. Um, they just have boom trucks. They don't have crane or anything So We'll see so that's the blessing part of that these guys are gonna do the hard work the dangerous work for us And and we're gonna get to clean up the good firewood and start processing it uh, They're right at the top of the driveway now, so I assume they're gonna start cutting around 8 o'clock 730 now um, So maybe we'll get to that later today or tomorrow. We'll see I'll be sure to update you on what they leave for us and how spread out it is. I think there's a couple dozen trees, uh, significant trees anyways, uh, flagged between here and, and the end of the driveway. So it very well could do all the firewood we need for next year. So there's the blessing. Things sometimes work out for us. But right now we're gonna tackle a few more chores uh, while I get some spare time here. It'd be way harder to get our remote garden started if we didn't have the stream down here. Uh, so, very thankful for it today. So the brook's very helpful to get these plants started, but uh, now that they're established, they don't need to be watered. I'm trying to get some liquid fertilizer on these pumpkins just to, to get them to pop. We were late to planting season. My wife and I were blessed with a, a little baby girl a few months ago, right in the heart of planting season. So, behind on everything. I'm gonna rely pretty heavily on the grocery stores this winter, I think.
you hadn't guessed yet, uh, these pallets are, are solely for stacking firewood. Um, the, way, the way we stack wood, these nine or 10 pallets will hold about three cords of wood. Uh, and this is how we stack it. Uh, it's not the most efficient uh, area wise to stack, but it works well for us and things dry out pretty quick. Uh, I gotta take down this giant oak tree if I'm gonna continue to stack here. But um, yeah, sun's not that big a deal. Airflow is what kills you. So we do just do two rows per pallet. Each pallet's about four feet wide. So three pallets, like I mentioned, is 12 feet long. We cut our wood to about 16 inches and we stack it about four feet high. So 12 feet times 32 times four is 128 square feet. So that's your, uh, that's your cord. Um, and yeah, this air gap in between helps with airflow and that's where we throw our chunky bits that don't stack well. Woke up to a nice brisk 45 degree morning and it's already in, in the mid 60s and starting to get humid just a few hours later. So uh, it's never too soon to think about firewood, but we've had a crazy stretch. I think we set a record this year for most consecutive days above 60 degrees, which is kind of rare in uh, this part of the state. I think it was a little more than a couple weeks, which is a lot. It usually gets quite a bit cooler at night, but I try not to think about firewood in the summer. It's hot and uh, there's plenty of time the other eight, nine months of the year where it's cooler, where this is a lot more fun. But we're always on the lookout for pallets. They're not super hard to come by in our area um, and we have enough room to store them. Uh, but when you leave them laying on the ground for a few years covered in, in firewood, they, they, they start to become the ground and, and aren't super useful. And that's part of the graveyard you can see behind me. It looks like a dump, kind of embarrassing. I like spending time up here. You can't see it from the house, so it's not that big a deal or else I would have taken care of it already. Um, but since we moved into the house, we've replaced all four decks that were on the house so uh yeah that wood is partially treated some of it isn't but it's mostly rotted partially rotted wood with nails and screws in it and i can't pick out a spot on the property here where i don't want to drive for like the next 50 years so i'm curious what i want to do with those nails i don't the I, the easy solution is to pay several hundred dollars and take it to the dump we can't burn treated wood um i could do it here but again i don't want to put those nails and screws in the ground so let me know how you handle junk like that or you just pay to take it to the dump old peanut here is extra crowy this morning i don't know if it's because he hears those saws starting in the background or what but uh we're heading off to old home day so maybe later this afternoon i'll follow up with what trees came down and, and how he can dig into it so stay tuned all right it's the next day we ended up passing the tree crews on the highway on the way back from old home day yesterday apparently they were only working a half day on saturday so they never ended up getting to our driveway portion here i suspect they'll be back tomorrow morning so i'll be able to fill you in on a future video on on what hits the ground down there but um uh yeah ended up being a real relaxing day with family yesterday and, and time real well spent uh, i'll end this video with a, a clip of my sons by the fireplace i think you'll get a kick out of it let me know what you think um, but I just got the chipper on the tractor here, and I started hearing thunder and lightning out there. Check the radar on my phone, and it's going to be storming for the next couple hours, it looks like. So I'm not taking the camera along. I think I might just sharpen some chains in here. But um, yeah, wanted to close out the video there. Thank you all for being subscribed. We'll see you at the next one, and uh, take care. Levi say hi dear.